and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashton and I am so glad you are here. I like to make all things homemaking content, whether it's cooking, cleaning, decorating, home projects, family vlogs, anything like that, you name it, that's what I'm here for. But today we are going to be decorating for Halloween and I am so excited. I have all of these goodies over here that I'm about to show you and do a little haul if you will. But before we get started, I would totally love it if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already because I would love to have you be a part of the family. And if you have and you're returning, thank you so much for being here. Your support means the world to me. I am so grateful to have you. But let's get started in today's video. All right, so we have quite a bit of stuff. I have never decorated for Halloween before, so that's why I went and grabbed a ton of things. But if you have been here in the past for my decorating videos, you will know that I do have a lot of elements of black in my house. So I do feel like already having black accents and then these little um, touches of orange here and there for fall really helps kind of have that Halloween feel already. But I did get a few like spookier items. Um, I'm not a huge like haunted, creepy, scary type person. So I got some very simple Halloween items that will kind of get the feel of Halloween Halloween without it being too scary. <laughs> so we're doing a very simple Halloween decorate with me, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. Majority of everything is from Dollar Tree and Home Goods. So we'll just start, oh, and Walmart, I guess. I forgot about Walmart. Um, my mom actually got me all of these pillows from Walmart. They are super cute. Um, she got me two long ones, and these have uh, these little puff balls on the ends, which are so cute. So it says Hocus Pocus. Then we have one that says Fabulous. <laughs> then over here, we have this cute little ghosty. I love that one. And then this one that says Witches Gotta Stick Together. She had one that was so cute that she got last year that said I put a spell on you and it was kind of laid out like this, but they didn't have it this year and it made me so sad. But she got me this one because it was pretty close. But like I said, all of these are from Walmart. And if you're ever curious, all the other little fall pillows that I have out there are from Walmart as well. So they really have a good selection. So coming back over here, I am going to do a few things on my porch. So some of these things we won't use today, but majority we will. Um, I got these giant foam bones. They're like glittery. I don't know if you can really tell on camera. But they have these giant ones, and I was thinking about putting them in the lanterns on the front porch um, where the leaves are. So I think that would look really cool. And then I got these mini ones that I plan on kind of putting around the house, maybe like in the table centerpiece and like little places throughout. I also got this little jar, and I was thinking about putting those little bones in here as well. But... I got those from the Dollar Tree. This outdoor sign was at the Dollar Tree, so it just says haunted, but everything's like super sparkly, so it looks pretty in my opinion. Um, I got all three of these wreaths from the Dollar Tree as well. I thought these were cute with the little glitter bats and everything, like I said, is glitter. Can you tell I have a recurring theme here? But um, I was thinking of putting these on the wall by the curtains in the dining room. I got two of those. And then I got this one right here that's super cute with these pumpkins. A little bit of that buffalo check ribbon. Um, and I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this yet. I thought about putting it on Everly's door, but we're going to kind of see where it should go. I did get a couple of these packs of lights from the Dollar Tree. I'm honestly just kind of trying them out. So, I mean, they were only $1.25 and it has five feet and they're orange lights. So... I'm just going to test it out and see if it is worth it because lights can get pretty expensive. Um, then I got a few of these glitter bats that have clips on the back so I can just kind of clip them on to some arrangements I have already which I thought was cool. Um, I also bought some cardstock, some black glitter cardstock to make my own bats if I need to. Um, and then I got these little metal wall decor pieces. They're just black leaves. I'm not sure yet what to do with these. I may put them outside somewhere. Um, I got this super cute sign from Walmart. It is a magnet, so it's like a countdown calendar to Halloween. And the 
pumpkin has a magnet on the back so it will stay so I got this for Everly because I thought it was really cute um, and then this was from the Dollar Tree it's just a little soap dispenser I'm gonna put in Everly's bathroom because I thought it was cute um, the Dollar Tree also had this sign I was thinking about putting in the kitchen because I just think it's something simple so one side says eek and you can flip it and it says boo. So I just thought that was really cute. And I was so surprised that the Dollar Tree had it. This sign came from Walmart. And it's kind of hard to tell. But the Hocus Pocus is raised. So it's a wood cut out on top. So it has a nice little 3D effect. I got this at the Dollar Tree in the hopes of doing a craft with Everly. Um, and then I got this sign from the Dollar Tree as well. And I know it's more fall technically than anything, but the fact that it has this black border around it, I thought it had some Halloween vibes. So the orange and the black really make it go together. But then I got this super cute cookie jar. Look at this. It is so beautiful. It has that speckled look. It's ceramic. And I just thought this would look so beautiful in the kitchen. Um, and we're going to be making some cookies in next week's video. So stay tuned for that. Um, I did get these baskets to put some trees in. Which I'll show you in just a minute. And then I found these uh, cushion covers at Home Goods, and I'm thinking about putting them on the bar stools because we've had them forever and the cushions on them have stains all over them. And honestly, when you're sitting there for a while, it starts to hurt. So I just thought these were super cute, came in a pack of four. So I've never thought about putting cushions on top. So we'll see how those look. But going back to these, these baskets are for these beautiful trees that I got. Look at these. I got this at Home Goods, and the reason I'm saying these is because I did get two. I was very surprised with the cost of them, and I just thought they were so gorgeous, and they look so real, and it's really nice because all of these branches have wires in them, so you can really move the branches around how you want to fluff it but it just brings so many fall vibes into our room. And if you saw my Christmas decorating videos last year, you know I like to have my house feel like a forest. <laughs> so getting these just brings a whole new level of like comfort into our bedroom, so I love it. But I'm thinking about putting those baskets down here and then maybe clipping some bats into it or wrapping those orange lights in the tree. That way at night, it just has like this orange glow. I think that would be so beautiful. And then the last thing I got was this piece right here. I got this black vase from Home Goods and these, uh, I think they're called pompous grass. I don't know, I think it's pompous, but you can totally correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100%. But Home Goods has tons of different colors and they come in sets of three and they're super fluffy. I love it. Um, I got one of each just because I definitely would use this white one in normal decor. But I did get the black for the Halloween vibes. So we will see where to put those. But yeah, you guys, that is everything. So let's get decorating. Alright you guys, we are starting off today by adding these little mini glitter bones to just a couple arrangements in the house. It's just a very easy and simple way to have a Halloween feel without making it too gaudy I guess, but I really loved these little touches throughout the house. Super cute. And then we're gonna put them in that little pumpkin jar, um, put the rest of them in that pumpkin jar. Next, I'm going to hang up these cute little wreaths I got from the Dollar Tree. Per usual, I just kind of eyeballed it, so I think I actually lucked out on how even that they look. Um, but I really like the little touch that this adds, and it's just very nice because the wreaths are really like dainty, so it brings that touch of Halloween with the black and the bats, but they're not overwhelming. So we're going to do a little hop right here because I did want to show you guys that I rearranged my fireplace a little bit. I finally got 
the mirror I've been wanting from Hobby Lobby for like ever. So I'm going to get this put up here and I just wanted to include it so you guys didn't just think I randomly changed it. Um, but I'm just going to add this mirror and a wreath and I think it turns out so well. Please let me know down in the comments if you like it now or if you like what I had before. But I just feel like this is a lot cleaner and not as like cluttered. And really the only other touches we're going to add to the living room are these cute little pillows that I showed you earlier. So I'm just going to kind of rearrange those and then we're going to move on to the kitchen and adding in all of these cushions. Unfortunately, they're not the exact same size of my bar stool and I didn't even think about that. But still at the end of the day, they are cute and it's going to add some extra cushion and it certainly looks a little bit better than those stains I had everywhere. So here I'm just showing you that I'm going to use glue dots to hang my bats on the backsplash. Um, these are the ones with clips that I got so I tried them first before I had to cut out my own bats but you will see in a minute they will just kind of start to slip so after I put them all up and I left for the day and when I came home they had all fallen so I did end up going and using my Cricut to cut out a ton of bats. So you will see that in the next few clips, but it's just kind of a trial and error thing. Um, I certainly went a little crazy when I had my own cutouts, and then I absolutely hated how cluttered it looked. So then I went back through and ripped a bunch off. So I didn't film that whole entire process because I literally changed it probably like four or five times. But I will give you a span at the end. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then So this is where I was talking about I felt like it started getting super crowded just because I had so many to go through and I just added it and when I look back I'm like it just looks like a bunch of black feathers everywhere so I pulled a lot off and kind of rearranged them and this is where I'm at right now. It looks so much better in person, but I am going to take the rest of those bats and do this huge um, mural, I guess, on this wall because I never know what to do with it because it's so big, but I really love how it turned out and it just <laughs> was a good place to put all those extras. Now we're going to move on to these big beautiful trees in our bedroom and I'm just going to arrange them in this basket. I do want to find some sort of block or something to give it a little bit more height in the basket but I didn't have anything that kept it stable. I tried a towel but it wasn't like flat enough and it kept falling so I don't know I'll have to find some sort of firm foundation for it at some point but I'm just going to go ahead and fluff through all of these trees and then we're going to try out those Dollar Tree lights. So like I said, I'm just testing out these lights because why not when they're only $1.25. Um, it says that they're 5 feet long. I, I guess maybe if you pull it really tight it's 5 feet, but it ends up squishing down to be like 3 feet so it's not as much length as I wanted. The color is beautiful, it is a very nice warm orange. Um, and right here I realized you can't connect them end to end, you can only connect them at one side. So you can't 
connect them to have a lot of length so I struggled right here I wanted to originally put them up in the tree leaves but there's just no way to make that happen so I'll have to get some um, like fairy lights eventually that have like a little timer on them and I realized because they are um, a cheaper light it's probably because they do get overheated so they're very beautiful like I said but you definitely need to use them sparingly and be smart about where you place them because they cannot be basically where I put them for too long or they'll get really hot but we're just adding these few less elements into like the entryway and then we're going to be done we'll find the remedy oh would you stay with me now till the morning light before you turn away i just want you to know that i didn't throw your stuff away before you make up your mind that i'm nowhere to find i'm standing right here All right, you guys that is about it for today so I am gonna do a whole walkthrough and show you everything that we did but before we do that I just want to say thank you so much for being here and making it through the end of this video please give it a thumbs up if you did that way I know and then I will see you guys in the next video but again thank you so much for being here now let's go ahead and take a look at everything we got done today